Okay, so how do I deal with these fellas? Well, you can stealth. I think you can almost full stealth this encounter, and you may not be able to do it on your first try. But this is this is one we're actually full uh, well, stealthing it. <laughs> stealth is optional, baby. Full stealth does actually have a pretty heavy impact on this uh, one because they. I think I'm pretty sure anyway. I'm pretty sure you can full stealth oh, this easy. fight, and if you don't, then they call on reinforcements. There's not a lot of fights like that in this game, but this fight becomes a lot harder if you don't full stealth it. But it is it is difficult. Oh. Okay. Okay. Wee. Wahoo! That was weird. Why did he do that? I don't know. Keep your eyes peeled. Yes, yeah, so you got obviously. There's a lot of just just chest high wall in this area in general. You also have these little the little uh, divots on either side, uh, yes. opposite as well. You can use, those are also decent, both for uh, cover and for uh, for getting around a little bit if you have to. Keep in mind, you can also dangle off the the edge of this uh, space if you want to, if you want to get a better look at something without peeking around corners. Oh come on! Oh come! Wow! That guy can go for a, that guy can go flying if you want. We uh -oh. uh oh he did not see you. No, he did. He he saw you. I don't know if he did see you. Drake was still crouching. I think he was just suspicious. Mm. I think he was just suspicious and a blind dumbass. Well, then I was the dumbass. It's whatever. Yeah, again, it, it has a grenade launcher sitting there in the center of the map for if this gets intense. But I'm like I said, I'm fairly certain you can be. I feel like the last time I played this. I was able to. I, we will I give specifically it, uh, recall that like there were not as many enemies as I remembered because I was able to get through all of them before they raised. We alarm. will give it a few shots. See what happens. Okay. So hang out at this corner for a second yep, longer. Wait for him to get. Again, you can also dangle off the edge. No one can see you if you're literally just hanging off the edge. Unless he spots you on the way, but. Hi, friend. You can go completely around the circumference of this battlefield, and uh, and they will not spot you doing this. So you can you can really get up close to these guys and scope out where everybody though? is. He's still there. There's one on the staircase in the center. Yeah, he's moving along. One going mid. Wanna come over here? That guy's got his back to you now. So yeah, you could probably precisely what I was thinking, Joey. Hey there. Snap. I forget if there's just the one more guy or if there's two more guys here. I think he's the last one, and if not, I'm gonna find out the hard way. I wouldn't shoot him. I'd still stealth him because I, oh, yes. I think the gunshots going off would. Uh, I was saying what my other weapon was. You could go up to the right here, and then when he turns around, okay, never mind. He's already moving. Might be a bad idea now. But I think you could go to the right and climb up. Yeah, see the over there to the uh, to the right. What are you? He's just trying to get his cycle started again, but he's not quite sure how. All right, whatever. We'll just wait now because now I'd probably see if you tried something. For sure. No. Oh. Well, all right. Opa. Remember, if there's anyone else hanging out around here, you might just be able to. You might. You don't forget your treasure though. We had on yeah, our upper platform. Yeah, I'm trying to figure here. out how to get there. There's a. There's stuff handholds off to the left there. Up here. Yeah. Look at that. See. Up. Up higher. Up higher. Oh. A little bit more. Almost. Is Almost. It? I swear to God. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I was wrong. No, I put a hand up. But he, he, go to the, you, there's also a raised platform over here oh, you can I just jump to it from, so that's yeah. fine. I think that was everybody. I think you, I think you just stealthed this area. Very cool. Yeah, I think that was good. All right, what is over here? Yeah, I'm fairly certain if you don't do that, there are like t like two grenade launcher guys come in, a bunch oh, of other good stuff. good lord. But that's cool. That's some very impressive, and I assume those are that's engraving, not like you know they've put stuff yes. on, like plastered stuff onto it later. I assume yeah. that's just nice. a really complex engraving. Very that's cool. Wicked. Oh, you're a practiced fortune hunter now. Game's almost over, and you finally got some practice in your in, under you <laughs> under your belt. Heck yeah! First game didn't count. None of that, none of that counted. That's precisely precisely correct. Nobody played the first game, Joey. So it's well, you know. It's in fact, fun. you know what? Let's get some damn numbers. Let's get some damn numbers on how many more people played this than the first game. Well, we're by ourselves. We're having to do it all alone. Well, I mean, she didn't help us the first time either. Well, the first one we came to, yes, but the second one we came to, no. The very, very first one she helped. You could have just fall. Well, actually, you you can only fall here, can't you? <clears throat> Okay, 
can't hmm. believe there's no one here. Let's see. Drake's Fortune. Uh, one million copies after the first ten weeks of release. Which was a pretty big deal at the time. But it was also like, you know, because there's nothing else on PlayStation 3. So everybody had a PlayStation 3. It was like, oh I got to play. God. I want something to play, damn it. Uh <laughs> so at this point, these guys are now killable. But boy, oh boy, is it going to take a little bit of work to do it. <sighs> okay. Really Similarly to the other um, uh, armor guys you fought previously, you can knock their helmets off and kill them with headshots, but it's going to take a lot more firepower. Can I make it over there somehow? No, you should have. I didn't even think to tell you about it. I didn't think about it. You could have picked up the grenade launcher in the previous area and brought I it in here with sure you. Could have. My brain did not even remember that was a possibility. However, I okay, thought I about it, but I wasn't sure if it was However, needed, so I was like, eh. there are two rocket launchers directly across from you over yep. there. Yep, right over there. Can I just... There's also some stonework on your right that maybe you can grip onto. See that? Oh, yes. <sighs> that's what that's all about. <laughs> Anything up here? There's a hole that will drop you right on top of those RPGs. So, it would say. You can also, I, if I recall correctly, I could be wrong about the exact damage output, but I think if you put ex if you put all four grenades directly at the feet of one of these guys, it will take them down. Like, if you have four grenades on you and you put them all right on the guy, it will take them down or do most oh, of their health. Is. That, that just not, staggered him? Oh my lord. Not enough to finish him. Good god. However, three's enough, so as long as you get this other guy too, seems like somebody else is shooting at you from somewhere, though. They sure are. You can blind fire RPGs too, by the way. Yeah, I do not want to. <laughs> All, right. All right, cool. Now, now what's now? Who's got an, somebody's got an RPG and they're shooting at you or something? Oh, come on! Come on, guys! Come on, guys! This isn't funny anymore. <laughs> enough silly jokes. I've had enough. Okay, got rid of the RPG. Well, at least one of them. Oh, come on! Were two, no. were two juggernaut minigun guys not enough? You had to have... Yes, more. You had to have... Ugh. Oh, and you have to do that again, too. Oh, well, we know where we're going this time, at least. Yeah. <sighs> okay, here we go. Became the first batch of PlayStation 3 titles to be released as part of Europe's uh, platinum range of best-selling titles, which, you know, it was... But that's not yes. saying much for the PlayStation well, 3 in the early days. Sold over 2.6 million copies worldwide uh, in its launch, like, within its window, I guess. As of March 2015, Uncharted, I guess it just says Uncharted, but I assume it means Drake's Fortune, has sold 4.8 million. So that, I think I think that's a lifetime on the first game. Probably not counting the remaster. Now we'll try and get some numbers on Drake's... My God. Uh, not on Drake's Fortune. That's what we're already talking about. I keep doing that. I'm trying to get some numbers on Among Thieves. Probably gonna die here anyway. Okay. Oh, no, don't. Yes, yes, my exact feelings, Mr. Drake. Oh yeah, pick that up. Okay. Pick that up. I cannot. I can't. I have to be. Oh, I got snipered. No. So okay. far, they've been snipers have been very kind to you in they, this game. They so have. Far. Yes. They've been giving you a lot of chances. But I saw I had a minigun, and they're like, nope. No, no. <laughs> We're not gonna let you play with this yet. Although that I did, even if I don't use the minigun, that approach uh, seems like that's a better way. To go about things. Hold up! Stop! 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 stop look stop, stop. up! Look up! Not not that up. Just like straight ahead. I, I think it was just snow clipping. Just snow. Yeah, that's that's the issue. I was just like, before we enter this. As of and as of February 2010, and this game came out, and I want to say like November of 2009, October of 2009. So as of a few a few months later, February of the next year, it had sold 3.5 million. So triple what the first game sold in approximately that time frame. Goodness gracious. All right. 15 minutes. Fastest selling first party title on any PlayStation platform at the time. So I would take out that guy and then pick up the main guy. Yes. No, not well. No. Oh, because I'm in cover. September of 2010, 3.8 million worldwide. As of March 2015, when we had like, the number, what did I say a second ago for Drake's Fortune? I said like Lifetime, it was like 3 million or whatever. I, uh, lifetime for Uncharted 2 or, uh, by 2015 was 6.5 uh, million units. So this had double the, the sales there, universally. 
I would just more than double before you switch over to the other one. Stay in cover a bit longer and get your yes. Yeah, I should have done that. I was a little overzealous. <laughs> it's okay. Again, forward progress. Forward progress. We're we're making it a little bit further every time. believe this guy is withstanding that. Where'd he go? That's how they're, they're tough, Aiden. They're tough dudes. Like they got a ton of body them. armor. That would be very tough to withstand. Yeah, this is something I should have remembered the grenade launcher. I apologize because that really, this, uh -oh. is a, this is an instance uh -oh. of the routing of this fight gets completely changed up because that RPG now becomes, you know, a bonus feature for, um, uh, you know, for finishing off the, uh, the other, the other armor guys that show up later. <laughs> No, no time at all. The plan still works. I just have to actually hit all six of the rockets. I missed the last one there. If I miss again, then I just need to start chucking grenades. Do you even have any grenades? Uh, I don't think you have no, any grenades. Yeah, well, that's the problem. Well, you know. Otherwise, I would have been. I was gonna say I'm pretty sure you don't, because otherwise I would have said I would have advised throw a bunch of grenades at their feet first and then follow up with the RPG shots. No, 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 no. Is there anywhere where they stand next to each other and you can shoot both of them at the same time? Be uh, economical? I don't know. It looks like they're just kind of hanging out now, unfortunately. Yeah, I think I think that's the case. Maybe if you walked in here with the grenade launcher. But yeah, I should have told you. I should have thought about saying pick up the grenade launcher this before is, you came in here. It's okay, because this is... This is a first time playthrough, so Sure, sure, but it's also like it would it would have just made it would have made that we didn't have to do the prep work of getting to the RPGs every time this encounter started, so I, I apologize. Know. Okay. There's a little bit of RNG, uh, depending on if that dude shoots me with a daggum rocket or not. Honestly, I, the minigun, I really wouldn't advise it. It's fine if we take that first guy out first, but we didn't do that. You also have another, yeah, the R other RPG right next to you here for you can use for armored guys or crowds or whatever the heck you want to do. Uh oh, Maybe. no, that's not what I want. Not, not quite the right option. No, 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 not quite. That's fine. This is fine. Is it? Is it fine? Are you sure it's fine, Joey? No, no it's not. You sure it's not? You're not gonna get yourself killed yeah. again? No, the minigun is not as viable on hard, on higher difficulties because you just move too damn slow. It makes sense. It's the... I wasn't, wasn't sure if that was gonna clip or not. It's the it's the halo problem of, of getting the, the mounted turret and walking around with it. Yeah, there's just... Well, that's, in general, Halo, so many things become unviable on the higher difficulties. So many, so many weapons. weapons that's, that's, just... Yeah, that's my point. Just so many weapons just become completely antiquated on high. Oh, 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 Hey, 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 hey. You know, one last surprise in store for you. Where you at? He's in that window right there. Did that you get just, it? Oh, that did. That worked. Oh I thought you might have just tickled him, but that totally, totally accepted that. Good grief. Sometimes headshots aren't one-hit kills in this game. <laughs> so I wasn't sure if it was gonna, if it was gonna, if it was gonna allow that or not. But it did. There you go. Uh, well done. Just like the headshots on Andromeda, if you're not the host in multiplayer, because that game sucks. Multiplayer wise, the, the, the I think the rest the, of it sucks too. Generally, the rest speaking. of it's divisive. But I never made it far enough because I was there. I was for gonna the say I didn't think you really you got that far into it yourself, did you? No, I was there for the multiplayer, and the multiplayer was awful. And it's a little bit better now, and I'm having enough fun with it. But I just want I, I just I wish to reclaim three's former glory. I don't know. Maybe by the time. It, this comes out maybe they will have announced that the the trilogy is going to have multiplayer but they have yet to do it yet and that leads me to believe that it will not if it does it's a day one purchase mm. how do i get up there mm. look at the wall yeah Joey's trying to do it without hints uh. Where I was earlier, there wasn't, uh, maybe, maybe there was. There was a rope. Maybe there was. Is there a treasure down there? Probably not. Let me just get over here and try the one thing on my mind, and if not, um, it's, okay. It's so much faster yeah, than taking the ladder. So, you see the rope I there, see, though? I see it. I don't I think that's, 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 that's not, that's too stubby to be an interactable a rope. Yeah, that's rope. <laughs> Can, well, can you shoot something to make it less stubby? No, no, no. You're already this is you're already doing the correct thing. The pathing you took, you went through that hole to get to the RPG. There's just another stairwell right here, and it takes you close enough to that oh, one hey, to get inside. RPG. 
pretty pretty straightforward, actually. Uh, now, just don't screw up this jump. Or rather, don't let the computer screw up the jump for you, because sometimes Nate just doesn't do what you're expecting him to do. I want to say that there's a treasure on the ceiling in this room. Yep, there you go. Would I thought that was a light. Yeah, so did I. I keep thinking lights are treasures, and so now I've been desensitized. Nate, there's something strange going on over here. Cool, but I found this cool little mask, Elena. It's a sword guard? Sword guard? I don't mean, it's maybe supposed to go on the hilt of a sword or something. I don't know. Some sort of animals. Yeah, I probably should have warned you about them. Warned a me? lot's been happening. I didn't think about Wait, it. You knew about these things? When were you planning on telling me? Just lay low and stay out of their way. Listen, Elena. Okay, I saw them, and then I had to go back and save a village and fight a tank. There's, There's a, a lot's been going on. I had a lot on my mind lately. Okay. I'm also trying to find treasure. <laughs> Oh shit. There's a lot happening. A lot <laughs> happening today. Look up, 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 look up. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't in the room with you. <laughs> it was definitely outside, Aiden. I just wasn't oh. sure. I just vaguely saw it in the window and I didn't know if it came in and was like Spider Manning on the ceiling above us. He went that way. I'm going this way. What I hate is that they have a lot more movement options than I do. And I already have a lot. Send back up. Oh God, they're all hey, dead. fella from the roof, could you Steve just uh? Them apart. They went that way. What the hell are those things? Yep, you guys have fun with that. You guys be, uh, you guys please remain occupied with the monster man. I'm gonna go and uh, I'm gonna find, I'm gonna go find my ceremonial dagger. That's a cer that there, there's a ceremonial dagger there. Uh, I'm gonna go find my ceremonial dagger. I'm gonna <sighs> maybe find some treasure. Maybe just leave while I'm still alive. I don't know. I haven't really made my mind up yet, honestly. <sighs> Oh, okay! Don't know yeah, why the game did I, that. That was pretty weird. Oh. Seems a little extra, but you know what? <laughs> seemed, seemed pretty unnecessary to me, but... <laughs> that was Nathan Drake's decision. It's the way that he can get to his Drake fortune. <laughs> Precisely. One day, Drake will find his fortune. Not today. Oh yeah, I guess spoiler alert, Aiden. When they find out that uh, that um uh, that El Dorado is a uh, is a sarcophagus that turns people into Ooh, monsters, they we, they don't we don't exactly walk away with the gold in that game. No, it, it is now at the bottom of the ocean, just like Megatron from that zombie movie. sharks. Oh, yeah. no, actually, maybe I'm stealing that. Joke. Actually, maybe I'm stealing that joke from uh, the Chip Cheese and playthroughs. If Uncharted Two isn't about zombie sharks, what's the point? <laughs> uh oh. I don't like cutscene at this point. Sully took a bunch of just just gold in general off of pirates, though, so we made some money. But apparently, when we got thrown in prison, he went through the rest of our money and a good bit of his too. So I guess we're I guess we're not liquid anymore. Look, give yeah. me some more time. That's all I'm asking. I don't know how he went through all that gold. We found a lot of it at the ending of I Uncharted. Have given 1. you enough time. I have brought you the dagger. Now, where is the gate to Shambhala? Look, Zoran, we know. <laughs> I have not come this far. I'm telling you, just stab somebody with it. Competence. We know the answer is somewhere in this room. We just have to find it. Meanwhile, Drake remains just one step behind you. I clearly hired the wrong man for the job. That's what I'm saying, dude. And again, I don't think Nate would have worked for this guy in the first place. Yeah. Unless it's like he was, you know, under duress. I don't think he would have done it for money. I think he would have done it to, you know, not be shot in the head. Yeah. I'll try to smooth things over with him. Just. Stay here. See what you can work out. I would not put your gun away just yet. Yeah, for real. Okay. Think, Chloe. Think. She got a new outfit for the for the winter time. Her mm -hmm. her previous outfit would not really have been appropriate for this. Drake, point. I would not sneak up on her like this. That belongs to me. Nate, get out of here. Give me the dagger. They'll be here any Chloe, minute. Chloe, don't make me take it from you. How am I supposed to explain where it's gone? You'll think of something. You always do. Just... Just do one thing for me. Take that son of a bitch down. Where is the dagger? You had the All dagger. Right. No, I gave it to you. I gave it to you. Whoa! Whoa! Yetis. Yetis. The Yeti took the dagger. The Yeti took it. He I promise. Really I know fixated. that I'm not scratched up at all, and I didn't really take any injuries, but I promise it was a Yeti. Yes, he, very politely, I felt I felt compelled to to agree. 
You can maybe an offer I couldn't refuse. Give me the dagger or I crush your head with my giant claws. And you know, it's, I think it's all right. I don't think we, I don't think we even need it. <laughs> we need the dagger, guys. It's pretty think, simple, honestly. Good. It's just a dagger. We got guns. Explosives. <laughs> even, yeah. Actually, honestly, the problem with these stories is it's like... Oh, you need the secret key to get through the door, or you just dynamite. <laughs> just yeah. dynamite. Just dynamite everything until you find it. Uh. Yeah. What am I looking for? All right, no what? time has passed at all. That cutscene <laughs> ended, and now we're playing the video game, and it's totally fine. He said, what am I looking for? And just just to remind the audience who may not have been paying attention or anything. Oh, yeah, so we, yeah. Yeah, we should be able to flip through and see. Uh, I don't know. It's been a little... Hey. Guess, guess what, guys? Secretly, it's been it's actually been three months. Um, what? Since, literally since that cutscene ended. What? Yeah, it's been, yeah, we were doing that in December. It's oh March God. now. Oh, my God. We're doing that at the end of December. It's the end of March now. I, re I remember things. We had a, we had oh. we, we had to we had to stop pretty abruptly during our previous Tibetan. recording session, and so now we are here. To, yeah, found on dead Nazi number seven thousand six hundred and forty-two. Okay. Um, yeah, we uh, we had to stop kind of abruptly last time, so we're back now. Uh, many many circumstances conspired, including people getting COVID, among other things. Uh, but we're back now. So many things have happened. Uh, a new president of the United States has been inaugurated. A uh, vaccine is being distributed. Oh Daft Punk broke up. They sure did. Uh, we were making jokes about them last time. Oops, now nah, that's gonna be a little bit dated. But see, I don't want to. I don't want to talk about any of that. Wait, no, I don't. I didn't want to press the hint button. I don't want to talk about any of that stuff because Aiden, I've been reading fan fiction. Oh god! Oh god! And I want to talk about some fan fiction. Oh I've been reading. no! Joey's gonna do this puzzle. You gotta flip ahead to the puzzle solution. Where's the wait? Where? Ahead. This way? Yeah. I forget if I, yeah. I think I think we looked at this stuff before. These are pages that he ripped out of the book. You got too far now. You've gone too far. Too far. Oh, too no, far. No, no, no. These are, remember when we talked about he tossed the the book aside that the the Nazis had, and you're like, bring that with you. He did apparently somehow at light at the speed of the flash rip some pages out because these are supposed to be pages from that book that we found on the uh, on the SS search party uh, earlier. Okay, I think I've got the solution. Yeah. So these, I believe this is randomized each time. I could be wrong about that uh, though. Well, all right, we're going with this color instead. I mentioned during the first playthrough Wait, no, that we're Joshua got hard mode on this puzzle when we were playing this over the summer and the next one uh -huh. because the textures on the book would not load in for these pages. Ooh. So he had to he had to figure it out by like squinting at it and trying to figure out what it was supposed to say. But anyway, okay. what's so next? Should be noted, first of all, that I do not touch, I, I don't think I've touched fan fiction of any shape, form, or fashion in probably like 10 years. Um, and uh -huh. it's a, uh, it just, I don't go near that scene. I realized when I opened up fanfiction.net for the purposes of reading the thing we're gonna talk about in a second here, oh, that I have no. an actual fight or flight response to the UI of that website. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. I'm not, that's not a joke for haha -ha comedy LP funsies. I realized I was becoming legitimately uncomfortable looking at the website. Wow. All right? Listen, I've read some creepy things in my day. Oh, I, That's why yeah. I swore off all this garbage for a long time ago. <laughs> but anyway, basically, before I actually talk about what it was, I need to talk about the circumstances that brought me low to reading this thing. I saw, like, an animatic for something. Okay. on. It was an animatic on YouTube, as, you, as, as nerds do nowadays, as artists do. You yeah. know, they... Do the illustrations, they pick some music or something, they pair it to stuff. All right. I'm, I'm not uh, gonna say which one it was or anything, because I was like, I was a bit, I haven't gone back and watched it even now that I've read the material. I'm not sure that it was really great or anything that I'm interested in, uh, the animatic itself. But I was like, what is this? I realized it was for a fan thing. I was like, that's odd. Is this for like a, a popular AU or something? And I was like, no, this is for an individual fan fiction, the description says, that's odd. You don't see people put this much work into you know, a, a fan fiction, right? right? You know, a, a, a derivative work of a fan fiction. Okay. I'm just that dumb. Don't worry, the audience is gonna get to see. Joey, Joey gets this, uh, that's why I'm doing this now, is while Joey's solving this puzzle, we get to talk about this, because Joey doesn't know Harry Potter. It's a Harry Potter thing. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> anyway, so... <laughs> the, the puzzle wants this conversation to go on longer. Um, so I, no, I was my joke was gonna be if we'd filmed like three weeks later, like we'd originally planned, that it was like the new year 2021. We thought it would be better, but it's gone bad because I'm back on fanfiction.net because <laughs> I started reading it then. I'm finished with it now. It's four books. Oh um, my god! Oh my. <laughs> anyway, the freaking um. Don't worry about it. So I I, I go in the description. I'd be really worried that I'd read it, but I am now confident that I am safe. 
So the um uh, the no, I need you to read it because I need to talk to somebody about this. Oh no! More? There's more. Nate says he's not. Oh. You're not finished with the puzzle yet. Ah, oh, jeez. So the um uh, I, I Google it right. I go in the description. It's like, oh, what is this thing? I'll I'll look this up real quick, right? And the um the freaking uh, I Google the name of this thing. And the first thing that pops up is Archive of Our Own, oh, which is no. the new which is the new you know fanfiction.net right <laughs> i don't know why i know apparently people migrated there because i have a couple of friends who still write like in that scene yeah i guess people migrated there because the old like fanfiction.net no, no, wasn't no, being supported more. or something more. the other way the other way <laughs> there no, you go you those got, things at the top oh okay. you gotta you gotta combine information across all of the pages oh now. my god <laughs> i'm not good That's at why this. i kept saying this one. i don't know why but you, a lot well, of people... i thought you were pointing you were i thought you were pointing to flip that <laughs> way but you would be flipping that way but i thought it was going the other way i was going the motion of pressing the button on that the remote y'all talk about your harry potters <laughs> joy will figure it out don't worry about it this is why this is the perfect time to talk about this. Um, and probably a little bit after this, because this conversation gets taken. Anyway, so I Google the name of this thing, and Archive of Our Own pops up first. And I'm like, that's weird. I thought the description said it was on fanfic, of that video said it was on fanfiction.net. Maybe the author migrated, right? I open it up. No, 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 no. No, no, you fool. There's a subcategory of fanfiction based on the fanfiction. Oh, I know what this is. You know, maybe you do? All right, well then, uh, then maybe this the conversation will get interesting. The second result when I Google it is a TV tropes page for the fanfiction, which is not that wild because there are some really big fanfiction that have pages on TV tropes. But regardless, it's called uh, the, the Pure Blood Pretense. A, or some people call it the Rigel Black Chronicles, which I hate. The first book is called The Pure Blood Pretense. It doesn't really have an official series name, so I just called it The Pure Blood Pretense. Now Aiden's making a face at me that she doesn't know no, what this I, is. No, I know. All right, so we're safe. I'm kind All of right. glad, actually, because okay. I'm glad it's not the other thing. <laughs> Give me a very brief description of your thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this fan fiction series That's is- That's not even a reference to earlier. That's just a no. <laughs> So the the um uh, the the fan fiction series in question four books the lady um I believe she's in her early thirties now if I'm doing like because she was she was in grad school when she first started writing it according to the okay. author's notes and stuff slowed down for a long time because apparently she was in China for some reason I don't oh, know what wow. for I mean All she's right. uh, and then um uh, but anyway doing grad school stuff I think that was after she graduated she was doing some kind of work doing there for a couple of years school yeah stuff. anyway the first couple of books she wrote pretty quick. The okay. fourth book she started in 2016. The whole thing started in like 2011 or so. Okay. Fourth book started in 2016. The final chapter was only published in January of this year oh for book four. Oh my gosh. So when I started it, it wasn't finished yet. Wow. Um, and now it's finished. Now, well, rather book four is finished. There's going to be at least a fifth book. Oh, God. Uh, she doesn't think it'll go to six books is what she said in, in notes and stuff. Anyway, okay. there's two major core alternate universe conceits. <sighs> To the whole thing, right? All right. The first one, which is the more initially interesting one, the second one almost made me write the whole thing off, but I was like, I gotta figure out what this is. This is like, <laughs> I was reading stuff, like, there was stuff that I was reading that was really interesting. Basically, okay. the first alternate universe premise is 50 years ago, Tom Riddle killed Moaning Myrtle and went, maybe I should pump the brakes. And he decided not to become a violent murder man, and instead he is just a politician. <laughs> okay. Hey, he hang is, on, M muggle or wizard? Wizard. He's okay. a, no, no, okay. he's still a huge racist. He's still on. He's okay. still on his racism, uh, wizard superiority BS. Okay. And he's hiding his family lineage, which is a plot point later on. Okay. Nobody. He's the same as the same as in canon, but he's okay. he's not. He's running. If this had been written post 2016, like if it had started before then, after then, it would have uh -huh. been kind of awkward. But it started before, so I'm okay. He's uh -huh. basically running wizard maga. Um, except way more aggressive. Okay. Um, like they are trying to do like one of the major plot points is they're trying to pass like compulsory marriage laws between like pure bloods and yeah. half bloods to try mm -hmm. and get Muggleborns like out of mm -hmm. the system. Um, there's other reasons that are way later plot points. So the major conceit of that is that means no war happened. The last major wizarding anything oh. was Grindelwald and Dumbledore, you know, 60 years ago or yeah, whatever, yeah, right? Yeah, okay. So a bunch of people who should be dead are not dead. Harry's parents are still around. Neville's parents are still around. Um, a bunch of characters' backgrounds are completely changed. I had a really surreal moment in the last book where Moody is in the scene briefly, um, and oh. and is talking about his eyes. And I'm like, there's this is like the third scene he's been in, and there's no mention of his magical eye. He does. He didn't lose the eye, of course. Yeah. He's like, a, no, he's, he probably is only slightly grizzled in this version. He's not <laughs> missing. He's not missing huge chunks of his body anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's the main thing where I was like, that's interesting. Like okay. the, the complete shakeup of the, of the, and, yeah. and I was like, but how seriously will it be taken? Is it just fan service to have these characters around? No, this, 
Aiden, you and I have had conversations about how ridiculous a lot of the world building aspects of Harry Potter are. Yeah. Um, this author n knows all of those things. Okay. And is really playing into them. Okay. The second major conceit, which I almost was like, okay, never mind, maybe I shouldn't do this. But then I read a bit more and it got a bit more interesting. Second major conceit of changed continuity is Harry is a girl. Now this oh, has been not done. As bad as what I thought it was. It's been be. done ten million times though, and it's like the oh whatever. I'm gonna make Harry a girl, and nothing is really different. But I just want to because it'd be fun, and she can kiss Ron that way or whatever, right? Okay. Um, apparently, I read something. This author was like part of the inception of the whole thing was there are so many of these oh, yeah, Garbo. Dude. You you turn them the right way, Joey. You made them match the 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 animals that are up on the wall. I did it by accident. You did it. <laughs> you did it. Don't even worry about it, dude. Good job. One of the, um, uh, one of the, basically she said like one of my major things with this was like, I wanted to write a f one that actually like justifies oh, I'm, it. I'm stupid. I figured out wh how you I figured did it out accident. how to solve it. I figured it In out post? by accident. Why don't you explain the puzzle, Joey? Uh, well, okay. I'm let me explain what I was doing wrong. It's because my stupid gorilla brain, <laughs> All right. uh, it, I saw water and I was like, water. Oh, blue. It's that symbol. No, <laughs> water is, water is, is white. So there we go. That's, that's the solution. All, All right, right, good. Now, now we've solved that puzzle at least. Don't Just worry, like I'm sure there's more. Now this is about the this is the conclusion of the puzzle, pretty much. Oh. Though we're gonna just be in some other combat stuff for a bit here, so I'm still gonna keep. To... I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna stay on my fan fiction BS for a few oh, minutes God. here. Okay. Well, okay. since there's been a small break, can I? Ex you you said Harry is a girl. Can I? Can I? Uh, provide a little bit of something that happened to me one time in sure, high school. Sure. Go ahead. Why not? Uh, senior year, I was talking to a friend uh, who was he was. It was it was a really funny interaction to look back on because he was like, yeah, you know, we were just chatting, we were talking. He's like, yeah, he's like, you know, I've been kind of reading like, have you ever heard of a, like fanfiction.net? And I was like, <laughs> in my head, I was like, oh dear. I was like, yeah, yeah sure, well, yeah, sure, yeah, what? What's yeah, up I have, that? but you know, I don't really mess share. With, I don't really mess with any of that stuff. And he's like, yeah, it's, it's weird, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's, it's strange stuff. I'm like, yeah, it is, but whatever. And he's like, yeah. Like, so I was I was like reading some like Full Metal Alchemist ones. And he's like just because it's like these things are strange. And he's like yeah, it's. He's like uh, it, I even came across one where where Ed was a girl in it, and I'm like yeah, that that happens. Yeah, That's a little strange. sixty million. He's like he's like yeah, dude, it was really weird. And then there was a pause. He's like, but you know, dude, like the writing though. <laughs> he, just, <laughs> he just kept going. I was like yeah, man, you know, the, there's a reason people like these things. <laughs> yeah, so that's so this is that's something that's key about talking about this fan fiction here that I'm talking about. The uh, first gotcha. book or two, a little bit rough on the raw writing level, not terrible, mm -hmm. but a little bit rough. By the time you get to books three and four, especially four, it's like it's pretty consistent. Like this lady's a pretty decent writer. Okay. Um, she has her idiosyncrasies here and there. That but makes she's... things much more tolerable. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I this is again, this is gonna sound bad, but this is. It's astounding praise. In the first book, I was only cringing five or six times per chapter. <laughs> it, told, it told me to press triangle and I didn't, and then it's still, that's all thing. Oh, dear. Oh, all right. the Yetis, remember, you remember yeah, them. I remember uh, them. I remember them. I remember those guys. Aiden rewatched cutscenes before coming in here today, and Joey's been replaying a bit of the game to get reacclimated. But uh, Aiden obviously only watched the pre-rendered cutscenes, so yeah. some of the stuff was missed. Like, I think the Yeti's introduction just isn't even in there. Mm. Um, you, I don't th I'm not sure that's a feature. Hey, I know, they, they like around. see the thing, but they don't, they don't like fight them. They just like see them. Mm. Maybe it's upstairs. I thought there was a treasure on the ceiling in here. Maybe it's upstairs. Um, oh, I forgot. There's ones that you shoot. I did. Yeah, like, don't worry about it. Awful. I, I, as soon as they like went to the mountain town, I was like, oh yeah, there's yetis here. Uh huh. Um, I was talking about things that I like yelled um, while I was watching the cutscenes as I like just thought aloud. One of them was, oh yeah, the Nazis. <laughs> right, that was a plot. Aiden, that happens in the first game too. I'm there is a, there is a, the, the Nazis show up in the first game. Yeah. In like hour two and then they don't show up again. And there's no mention or remembrance of them until hour 11. Oh no. <laughs> All right, but continue on with your... Yeah, yeah, sure. You're about to get into a bigger fight. You're about to get into a pretty big fight here, Joey, so be ready for that. Okay. Uh, just Cannot wait. Here. There's climbing stuff on your... That's that's no. death. That's no. death. <laughs> Broke your chin. Well darn. Ruh, ruh, raggy. If it had been the crimson chin, you could have just absorbed that hit there and walked away. I guess we shouldn't talk about that now, right? Because Butch Harmon or whatever his name is, the guy who made Fairly Odd Parents, isn't he an issue now? <laughs> Uh, I'm talking about Harry Potter fan fiction, so who cares? J.K. Rowling's yeah. an issue, but I can still talk about derivative works. And... Well, the, the main issue that I know about from him is his commissions are just <laughs> dog shit. Anyway, so the, um, uh, so, so, 
one of the things that like with this with the Harry being a girl or whatever thing, right? Is like it's like mm-hmm. I almost like I rolled my eyes real hard and almost walked away from the entire thing. Okay. Um, basically, it's also a riff on Aiden. Are you familiar with the Alana the Lioness series? Okay, oh. these are fantasy novels from the 80s. Um, about the, the author has been doing them for a while. I think they're actually some written significantly more recently than that. Okay. About a girl who switches places with her twin brother, so he can go to wizard school and she can go to knight school because nobody's allowed to be women aren't allowed to be knights in this fantasy universe, right? There's a ton of these. It's a pretty big series. Um, I was never that intimately familiar with it. I'd only heard about it, knew some stuff through osmosis, right? Okay. Now I was under the impression that a huge portion of it was Mulan. I have to hide my identity, and like the whole thing was her, like the procedural of her pretending to be a boy. Right. Um, I've discovered through this because this fan fiction is in many ways a riff on that series. Okay. Um, I've discovered that apparently this is not nearly as big of a deal, the procedural, like, oh, I've got to pretend to be a guy. Like, apparently she's like, oh, she dresses up as a guy, and then that's about the extent of the issues. By the end of the first book, several characters know she has a boyfriend, and the third book, it's blown, and it moves on to larger machinations of the plot. Okay. Like, everybody just kind of knows that she's a woman. Which kind of disappointed me, because I always thought that a big part of it was the was the disguising. Right. Um, apparently, the author of this fan fiction, though she likes those novels, was disappointed by that, too. Because the entire thing is, as the, here's, the, here's the basic core premise of this fan fiction at the starting point, right? Uh, Sirius Black obviously didn't go to prison. He's still friends with James oh, and Lily, right? they didn't die. Okay, right. Yeah. Uh, Harry's never lived with the Dursleys. He's just got to, live with her, got to live with her parents, right? Wow. That was bad. Um, again, again, plenty of fan fictions have done this, but it's the weird angles that this one takes that made it more interesting to okay. me and made it like made me stick with it. Basically, in this world, though, uh, Dumbledore is kind of the head of the one of the other like the major opposition party to Voldemort. I guess Tom Riddle's weird. He's not Voldemort in this universe. He's just Tom Riddle. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, one of the one of the things that his that Riddle's party has gotten past is only pure bloods at Hogwarts. Half bloods, Muggleborns not allowed. Right. So by the way, Hermione's barely in this thing, which was, I thought when I found that out, I was like, is, they gonna, is she gonna shove Hermione in there because she can't help herself? Nope, Hermione is in it an appropriate amount considering circumstances. Um, wow. I'll get to Hermione in a second. Anyway, uh, Archie, who is the son of Sirius Black and wife who died before the story started, he wants to go to the American School for Magic uh, because they have a really good healing program, and his mom died of unspecified fantasy illness. Okay. And he wants to. He wants. He wants. He, so he, really, he, really, he really wants to be a doctor, right? Okay. Harry, again, this is another area of like, uh oh, uh, but then they handle it pretty well. She wants to go to Hogwarts because she really wants to. Good ragdoll there. That was fantastic. Yes. She wants to go to Hogwarts to learn potions from Professor Snape. Uh, she really wants to. She really, really likes potions. Again, this is alarm bells for me on fan fiction of like, is this just gonna be about Snape being a nice, cool guy all the time? Because the. This person likes Snape or whatever. Uh huh. It's handled well. Snape's mostly an asshole. Good. Yeah. Because okay, right. so it's still. This. I'm glad you're making this connection immediately. One of the best things about this is wait a second. What's Snape's deal in this universe? What's the deal with? So yeah, no, it's a. Uh, it, this it, Snape becomes really interesting in this because nobody knows what's going on with. You don't know what's going on with Snape. Here. Yeah, because he's not even a. He's just like. Well, we're going to cut some of that out for spoiler purposes, <laughs> but that's okay. Some people don't know anymore. Some people don't know these things, Aiden. I really... Okay. Sorry, I'm just going to remove some of that for spoiler purposes. Just, just, just bleep it and leave my confusion. I feel like that'll be better. <laughs> Sorry, I just you, you, you just said like end game Harry Potter spoilers. I just prefer to be safe. Sorry. I feel like... Everybody guess, knows, but some people don't know, Aiden. I guess, but I some feel like that's know. also like a Luke, I am your father. Like Some people don't know, Aiden. Some people don't know. I guess, I guess it hasn't been as long. Some people don't know, Aiden. Yeah. I'm not sure Joey knows. Well, Dude, by the end of this, I won't know You will have forgotten anymore. about it. Yeah, no, I know. Well, I'm I just also commenting. tried to... I mean, I didn't... Oh, come on. Joey, you're having a good time I've here. read all the books, and I've seen all the movies, and I still don't know, Jake. <laughs> Like, realistically. Uh, anyway, anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Regardless. So basically the framing of this is that uh, is that Harry wants to go to Hogwarts but can't because Lily's muggle-born. She's half-blood. Legally, she's not allowed to attend, right? Wow. Uh, so wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Uh-huh. Okay. What is the age difference between Tom Riddle and Harry's parents? Oh, like, did Lily go? No, 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 no. She didn't even. She either. didn't even. No, she went to a, she went to the American school as well. I think. Wow. That's a really minor aspect of the backstory, though. Um, it's so, kind of it's kind of hand waved. Okay. Tom Riddle's like he's like he's like seventy or eighty by the time of Harry Potter. He's okay. been he's been around for a while. Right. Okay. I want to say he's like in his sixties or seventies in canon. 
Okay. I could be wrong that's about that. That's fine. Somewhere around there. I don't remember. I don't remember the specific dates for these people. That's, but anyway. That's fine. That's fine. I just meant like they're not same generation. Yeah, I understand. Really. Anyway, point is, it's a crime. It, it, there's, it's because of all the weird races. Because again, it's really playing into a lot of the more interesting ideas that JK did not get into right. in her books. Um, it is a crime to impersonate a pure blood because there's a lot of like high society themed stuff wow. going on in this, right? Okay. Harry really wants to go to Hogwarts though, and Archie really wants to go to the American school, and they don't want to disappoint their parents because like the Marauders really want one of their kids to go to Hogwarts to take the Marauders map and go do nonsense, oh, right? Oh, right, okay. So they say we're gonna switch places. This is a, something I have to tell people when I've described this a couple times. They don't tell their parents either because plausible deniability, because right. this is big crimes. Right. So Archie's going to America where nobody knows anything anyway about this family, so he just he's just, oh, I'm a boy, and my transcript said Harriet on accident, because that's her, that's her full name, right? Uh. She has to pretend to be him and to be a guy. And oh. unlike the Alana books, which apparently don't really get into this, the books are extremely procedural about the complexity of this nonsense that they've gotten themselves into. Which is something because one I would say if I got it because I feel like I have to defend this and talk about weaknesses so people don't think that I've lost my mind. Um, <laughs> one area that this is pretty weak on is the overall magical mystery stuff because J.K. Rowling's pretty decent at writing mystery plot lines. The Harry Potter books are all secretly detective books. Okay. That's what they actually are, right? The mysteries in these books are not great. Sometimes it's that's that's Elena. Don't shoot her. Oh. The mysteries are not great, sometimes because literally your knowledge of canon will mean you're a step ahead. Okay. Like book two. That doesn't bother me, though, because mm -hmm. if, if, if it's consistent with canon, then it doesn't bother me. Well, some things are consistent and some things aren't, and that's the fun thing is figuring out, because she's been very, very thorough about, like, what would be different and what isn't, okay. and she plays with stuff in spots. I've I only noticed a handful of major issues where she's accidentally half, uh, like, uh, offhanded mentioned a student who should not be at the school because of their status. Okay. Um, but it's, like, just as, like, you know a crowd scene and a character says one line. Like Dean Thomas has one line of dialogue in one scene and he should not be there. Isn't he Mucklebore? Technically he's Half-Blood. You wanna get really nerdy about Harry Potter for a second here? Oh, sure. We're, we, are we not already? So apparently, I didn't even know this until I went and looked it up. Cause I was like, should he be there? I swung by the wiki. Apparently Dean Thomas was, grew up as a muggle, but that is because his father was a wizard and died before he told the rest of the family about wizarding. So technically he's half-blood, but grew up muggle-born, that's why he's into soccer and all that kind of stuff. I didn't know any of that. I don't know if that's like in the book somewhere and I missed it, or if that's J.K. Rowling, retcon Pottermore, the wizards pooped in the hallways, Dumbledore was gay the whole time, <laughs> whatever else, right? Who knows? Um, this, these things happened, okay? Yeah. These are things that she said. Um, for anyone who's not familiar, J.K. Rowling's a little bit off her rocker these days. Um, I think that is common knowledge, but yeah. the... Yeah. The pooping in the hallways yeah. thing. That's what I was doing. I know that. I was going to try yeah. to not call attention to it, but since you have. Hey, go look that up on your own, folks. We're, they're already too deep in this conversation. I can't get hung up on these details, okay? <laughs> but um, one thing that this author is really good at, she's not great at the mystery stuff. She is pretty good at suspense writing. Okay. And most of it is built around, is Harry gonna get caught anyway? Okay. Um, and there is, I am I am astounded by the number of bad situations she's put, she puts situations, she puts the character in. Like there are things where I'm like, oh, there's no way you needed to like, that's such a minor detail. I would have easily hand waved if it was never brought up. And it's like, no, no, this is an issue that would come up as time goes on and this is happening and they totally, and they deal with it. There's stuff that's like, she introduces magical mystery rules, mm. like ma magical lore stuff that's not mm. in canon. And she does it just to create problems, not to create oh, wow. solutions. Sometimes, <laughs> like I was, I was stunned occasionally that she was willing to take like her own rules seriously enough to put characters in these, in these situations. Okay. Um, I can, I can get behind that. The, I will say, if anybody wants to go and look at this, it's decent, first book's pretty rough. The, it's got good stuff in it. There's some good, char some good character stuff in it. It's decent plotting in spots. One of the worst things about her writing early on is that she can be... Aiden, you ever read a book where something happens? A bunch of, a whole long sequence of events happens, right? And you as the reader just read it. And then characters come along and go, what happened, main character? Um, and then main character explains what happened and it doesn't fade to black and come back up and they go, wow, that was a wild story. Yeah. And you have to sit through pages of recap of everything yeah. you just saw. Yeah. That happens a couple times early on and it's not good. Yeah. Um, there is a, uh, there is a, um, in the like third and fourth books, it happens a couple times, but it's exclusively because the recaps involve heavy lying and it's important that the audience that understands is, what the other characters, important. yeah, what the other characters know. That's relevant. In the first book, there are a couple spots where the where 
Harry stops and explains something that you just spent chapters reading, and it's like, stop, let me skip this. Yeah. Um, also, because one thing that they're really doing in this is like, okay, so for example, another noted thing, uh, Lucius Malfoy is not like a suspected murderer in this universe, right? All these people who are like, like Bellatrix Lestrange, not death is, Bellatrix Lestrange is married. She's not in prison. She has a kid. The kid's pretty messed up. Uh, and her marriage doesn't seem very happy, but she's around. Wild. Um, these are like minor details that barely a dick? even count. Uh, Draco is a pseudo dick. Um, this is the other thing that almost made me quit. Harry is naturally in Slytherin. That's the the fan fiction bait. But thank goodness it's handled pretty well, and it makes sense because when she puts the Sorting Hat on, the Sorting Hat is like, whoa. Interesting what you've got going on here, Miss Potter. Don't tell anybody. He's like, yeah, I won't tell anybody, but hey, if you're up to this, this is really the only one place I could put you anyway. Uh, um, that, you know, right here. now that you've explained it, that doesn't this piss me it. off as much. No, so Draco's in it, and obviously friends with Harry, and a tremendous asshole out the gate, but has decent character development. Also, Pansy is one of the other friends, but she's essentially a new character, because Pansy had no characteristics in no, canon, so yeah. Pansy's just a new person. Um, Crab and Goyle are essentially deleted. They're never there. Um, 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 Ron. Ron is in it, uh, not a ton. Harry is kind of tangentially friends with him, Ron. but he's, he's Ron Weasley, yes. He's not a major aspect of it. It's shocking, this, this author has a shocking amount of restraint on like not pulling in the fan favorite characters just because. Okay. Like Hagrid's barely in it because Harry doesn't need the support network, right? Oh yeah, okay, that makes them, okay. There's plenty of other characters in it. Fred and George get huge play. Okay, good. Fred and George are like, Fred, well, cause here's the thing, in this canon, everyone knows the Marauders and Sirius runs like, Sirius and James on the side do like joke products, right? So Wild. like so so Fred and George are like oh my god we got we I, we have to be friends with this kid. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, so um, I'm gonna tangent for a second. Sure, go ahead. I saw. Just ignore all that garbage. <laughs> They're having down fun there. with those Yetis down there. I saw a post either. <laughs> that guy got brutalized. <laughs> Either yesterday or today. He got Chewbacca from the Lego Star Wars game. Yes, he did. Because <laughs> uh, I have no concept of time anymore. Um, None of us do, Aiden. It's fine. Yeah. It was... I didn't even realize what I had read at first. I just was like, ah, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. No. It's Fantastic Beasts and Where to Hide Them. By this Hag is a fan fiction? No. No? It was just like a meme. Okay. Uh, but it's by Hagrid. Followed up with the... I shouldn't have told you that. Oh, yeah, you know? yeah, 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 gotcha. That's pretty really funny. It was That's a, cute. That's it was cute. a good little one-liner. But yeah, no, it's it's actually, it's shocking how much, like, characters you would expect to get tons of play. Like, she's she has a lot of restraint. So, for yeah. example, Hermione is at the American school, which is where Archie, Sirius's kid, is going, right? Okay, okay. But she has an appropriate quantity of play. She's only in a, because it doesn't cut to Archie almost at all. Only when we need to see stuff that's going on okay. with him. And she's just there as like incidentally ah, until later ah, on she gets people. a bit more involved in the plot. I mean, is she still like Brainiac? Oh yeah, she's the same character. Okay. Because her life is completely unchanged. Oh my. Yeah, okay. Her life is completely unchanged, so she's the same person. Yeah, because um, she was muggle anyway. So like. Yeah, so so the one of the best <gasps> things is that she's pretty, obviously she's on her, her you know, her um, uh, social crusade anyway. Oh, Ooh yeah, I love the drop kick. Um, she's on her social crusade anyway, anyway which is even worse in this world that's super racist against people like her, right? Yeah. This brings around to book four involves a twist on the Triwizard Tournament. Uh, I think the author realized that it needed more. Um, it's it's six events and nine competitors instead. Turns it into a full on tournament arc. Uh, Hermione wow. gets in because she's like, I need to prove a of point. Of course. So yeah. that's the only, that's what she only gets really involved in like book four. Okay. Um, she she goes to compete for, to represent the American. So is Harry school. still in it? Oh, yeah, Harry's still in it, but that's a whole thing. Okay. Harry doesn't want to be in it. Well, Harry didn't want to be in it in the first place. Harry isn't, but Harry isn't put in it as a trick this time. It's a long story oh. that I'm not going to get into right now. Yeah, because that whole... Yeah. That didn't happen. There's no reason for wow. that to happen. Oh, because Voldemort doesn't want to kill Harry. I, oh, Voldemort wow. wants very different things with Harry in this canon. Oh, God, don't say it like that. We were talking about fan fiction. Stop. Don't no, 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 say it like no, that. Hey, that's, hey, that's another important thing that I should address. Because I didn't even think about this, because like reading it, I knew that it wasn't there. But I was talking with a friend of mine um, when I was like midway through book two. Uh -huh. And I was describing it to her. And she was like, okay, but Jacob, what's the creepiness factor? I was, I was gonna ask. I was gonna ask. What's it rated? When she asked me that, well, it's it's rated like PG thirteen or so. There's especially later on. There's some swear words and stuff. Oh no. And there's and there's some sex jokes. But okay. it's like honestly, it's not worse than what's in canon. Okay. Um, I mean, like most of the time when Ron swears, That's it tolerable. says Ron swore. Now sometimes the swear words are actually there. Okay. Um, when my friend asked me that midway through book two, I said no creepiness so far. At the ending, towards the end of book two, 
there is one creepy thing that felt really out of place. And, it, and it, by the standards of fanfiction.net, it was like the least creepy, creepy thing I ever read on that website. <laughs> okay. It was inappropriate hair stroking. Um, and it came out of nowhere and it was really weird. And I think it was meant to be awkward and gross, but I don't, I think the author underestimated how weird it was. <laughs> okay. But I was like, okay, this is the ending of book two. These books are pretty long. This is the first time it's happened. These guys, those aren't even your bodies because really those are all sorry. bodies left behind by the Yetis. We did fight our way through here. We did. But those yes, are new this, bodies that are generated because this of This is Yeti. where I was, I was a beast and I stealthed the whole time. Oh, yeah, dude. The, this you, is the one where people are like, oh my God, I can't believe how good Joey is at video games. Maybe they will say that. Oh, we're just in, talking in this, seg you, like. in this segment, if you get caught when you're coming through here originally, guys come out on top of like grenade launchers and stuff. And it becomes yeah, a whole big deal. Yeah. Oh, wow. But um, no, the creepiness factor, shockingly low, except for that one thing. And then I was like, ugh. Ooh, should I? Maybe okay. I'll say that's the first strike. You get three strikes, book. Because okay. like I've been so far that you didn't. They haven't been any problems. Okay. Then I got to the ending of book two, and uh, the ending of book two has is like the metalest, I'm coolest so Wait, I thought, ending. I thought, I, thought, I thought creepy was end of book two. Close to the end of book two. It's like okay. second to last chapter. Okay. So the actual end of book the two. finale of book two is so good. Okay. I was stunned, and I was like, I have to. Okay, no, for sure, I'm reading all of this now. Okay. And then I think there's been one vaguely creepy thing since then in book four, and it was very much tied up in, like, the procedural nature of this is a girl pretending to be a boy, of, like, okay, you've earned this, so it's I'm okay with it, yeah. I think. And it's, like, very briefly mentioned and moved on from. It's not lingered on at all. Okay. So, yeah, no, pretty much no creepiness except for one thing towards the ending of book two, which can be very easily ignored. It goes on for kind of... It's weird, but you can gloss over it. I promise it's, like, the only time that it happens. Okay. If anybody like, gives this a shot. It's not just, like, softcore, like... Oh no, okay. no, 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 nothing like that. In okay, fact, there's solid. basically there's basically no romance in it at all. Harry Perfect. is Harry is very this version of Harry is okay. characterized pretty different, which is all the reason why like it being femme Harry is okay because she's practically a different character. Yeah. Um but she's uh she's very bookish and serious and also because she's pretending to be a boy and deathly afraid of getting caught. She is not super sociable. Yeah. She's like, she's kind of resentful of the fact that she keeps making friends. <laughs> okay. Not because she doesn't like them, but because it's like, this is a lot of trouble. Yeah. Um, but she's like, there are, there, are, there are scenes where people try to flirt with her. And she's like, what? What was that? Huh? There are other characters who like observe this, like, hey, Cho Chang is into you, Harry, who again is pretending to be a boy. Mm -hmm. And it's, and she's like, what? She is? I missed that. What? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, stuff Whoops. like that. Cho Chang in fourth book, it's mentioned- We don't have to suffer through the weird crying kissing scene! In the fourth book, it is Joey, quickly I'm mentioned- sorry. You don't understand how terrible it was. No, this is, y'all, I'm, I'm enjoying hearing you guys talk about in the this. Fourth, okay, in I'm the glad. fourth book of the, oh, by the way, look up. <gasps> oh, happy! In the fourth book, it is specifically mentioned Cho Chang's nickname. And, and she has like an actual Chinese name instead of this weird gibberish that JK Rowling slapped together. Cause Cho Chang is just nonsense. Mm, um, yes, she actually has, she actually has a real name. stuff, appreciate it's like, it. It's like Shu Shi or something like that, I think. I'm probably gonna mispronounce it. Um, this but one's yeah. like Jack Black from- <laughs> What? It looks from, like Nacho uh, Libre. <laughs> it's not, it's an ancient Nacho Libre. Oh my God. <laughs> it's exactly what, I've never even seen that movie, but I just know the poster and I know exactly yeah. what you're talking about. <laughs> That's anyway. exactly it. That's shit right there. That's, that's exactly that it. Quality content. Oh, continue. Uh, no, we should actually, I should probably wrap up this discussion, honestly, because we should wrap an episode soon here. You should not proceed any further because we're about to get into cutscene territory where we actually have to pay attention to the game again. Okay. People got a normal episode for the front half of this that was filmed three months ago. <laughs> and they got to hear me talk about this. I'm sure I will talk about it more in the next episode, but I'll, it'll be like shorter. Okay. The main thing I'll say is like that, is that the, um, uh, this author is, she's not great at the magical mystery stuff, especially because often yeah. she's aping canon to the point where you're like, you're one step ahead. Yeah. The good news is, like, for example, book two, um, the characters figure out, oh, it's the basilisk, like real fast, because oh. you know, so yeah. save the time. Uh -huh. um, by the time she gets to book four, I think, she real, I think she's really playing to her strengths. There is essentially no mystery. It is just a raw suspense novel. Um, and she's- Honestly, I'm fine with she's that. She's, this author, this lady, her name is Violet, or at least that's what she goes by. Uh -huh. She is, a very good suspense writer. She okay. made it, she had an excuse like, okay, I'm gonna make Triwizard Tournament six tasks instead. And they are all dope. There's one that she goes, like the, the underwater one is the, the underwater one is basically the only like straight repeat from okay. canon. Um, and it's pretty quick. Um, but the, uh, did they go out when you shot it? No, it's just one. Oh, that one just isn't out, weird. I mean, it wasn't, it isn't on. 
hey, you know what? Listen, all this other ancient technology is still working. We can we can excuse one oil lamp not firing no, properly anymore. No, it's not anymore. the oil. It's the blue. Oh, who, I, mean, I don't know. That's not quite the look of the resin. The resin doesn't usually have that green trail coming off of it. I don't know what's up with that. That one's just really old. It got a little funky. It's fine. It needs to be liberated. <laughs> I'll talk a little bit more about this later. Uh, if, you, if you're waiting for the next episode and you want to know if you should go look into this, again, I will warn you, the first book is a bit rough. The fact that there's this, this book is really centered around like pure, like pure bloods are really full of themselves. There was no war. They, they're all running very high society type stuff. The author in the first couple books is very inundated with fancy talk takes on borderline SpongeBob levels of fancy talk occasionally, okay. where there are characters just speaking in circles and having really overly vo verbose dialogue. There are scenes where it's like a conversation should take a page and it takes like three, and fan fiction doesn't have pages. The right. equivalent. Yeah, um, yeah. And that was where a lot of cringe in the first book came from. She calms down on that a lot later on, okay. but early on her attempt to like show, look, there's this like there's like this upper crust of society in this mm -hmm. world who are very full of themselves mm -hmm. is mostly through the the dialogue and it's like it's not good in those segments okay. it got obnoxious. Other than that, it's like it, it gets it gets really solid later on. I have to like I almost need someone that I know to read it to know because let's be let's be clear, folks. I have a a clinical predisposition to getting weirdly obsessed and into specific things. Mm -hmm. So it's entirely possible that this is just me having brain problems. But you also <laughs> got to understand that I swore off this stuff so long ago that the fact that I'm so into it is really weird for me. So it might actually be pretty good. I'm yeah. not quite qualified to tell. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm enjoying it. It's, 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 uh, it's a really good mix of, hey, let's remix these ideas from the source material that is not too fan servicey most of the time and also has enough original stuff going on like it's not it's not totally flooded with ocs mm -hmm. there's a decent number but they all pretty much have a direct purpose okay. um that is one thing where this lady suffers one thing jk rowling is really good at is managing massive casts and mm -hmm. giving everybody a sense of identity mm -hmm. this lady isn't quite as good at that there are a lot of characters where it feels like you're really supposed to be dependent upon like their rep like you you know their reputation from the source material and she doesn't put the work into them really mm, okay. for example like Dumbledore basically isn't in the first two because why would Dumbledore talk to some kid who isn't like you know who didn't survive a killing curse yeah. and isn't uh, the subject of a prophecy um, so Dumbledore really only is involved directly later on this lady is shockingly good at writing Dumbledore by the way like really good when I read it I picture him the same way in my head that I do when I'm reading the books okay um, but he really isn't involved until later on which is weird because like as the story is written in this, He's like the biggest political leader other than like the minister and uh, and Tom Riddle. Mm -hmm. But in those first two books, it is basically all just like everybody saying, yeah, he's really important. But if you haven't read the originals, like you would never, like why, yeah. is, why is he important? Okay. Um, but anyway, that's, I will, I will talk a little bit more about this in the next episode. I promise it'll be more measured. I needed to word vomit in this one where I knew we were going to have puzzles and, and relatively unimportant combat encounters. The narrative of Uncharted 2 is about to pick up again in the next one. So we'll find more Madala Thog Changs, uh, mm -hmm. next time on Uncharted 2, uh, Dr Dr Drake's uh, Thieves? Thieves. Uh, 100 Thieves Cash App Compound. <laughs> <laughs>